Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome to Eon Alter. So this game is kind of interesting um, to say the least because you are using your smartphone as a controller and you have to download a program for it or an app actually for your phone and then play it. Whoops, I hit my uh, mic. But uh, yeah, you use it to play and you can have um, people with you play it, like, you know, local multiplayer. And so is the description. Your smartphone is your character. Eon Ultra brings modern technology to the social experience of couch co-op gaming. Voice your character, choose which secrets to keep and what lies to tell. Gather your friends, order the pizza and descend to the depths of the Eon Altar. So I downloaded the app. As you guys can see here, um, I'm gonna put it up right there. And um, I haven't found a game yet because I haven't made the game yet or whatever. So uh, let's just go right in. Start a new campaign. Yeah. Have Gooey. All right. Episode one, the battle for Tarnum. Prelude, the siege of Tarnum, your eye is drawn uh, to Tarnum Fortress, which legend claims was built atop the Eon Altar, mythical birthplace of humanity. Between you and your destination is ever chaos. With the path of pilgrimage under, under siege, you will need to talk or fight your way through if you are to fulfill your destiny. Okay, so, um, says please install the Eon Altar controller app. Okay. And it is on the same wireless network, so hopefully it will find it. Oh my gosh, there it is! Uh, join. Oh! So... As you guys can see, you can actually, um... Ch uh, choose your character here. Which is very in interesting and kind of cool. So you have the Silent Thorn, which is the first one. Um, the first one you guys saw, the second one is, um, is Muron. Well, first one's Assassin. Silent Thorn's Assassin. Muron is Battle Mage. Sorry I don't have a second um, a uh, camera to look at the phone. Sorry about that. Uh, Shasek is a Cell Sword. Marcus is a Guardsman. And then Barrison is a Crusader. I think I'm gonna go with uh, I guess we'll go with the Bearson. Poor Marcus, he looks huge. Alright, let's do this. Start. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I, I guess I... Let's start. This is very interesting. This is my first time actually using, a, you know, a phone to play a game on the computer. In the beginning, the brother gods, Mirth and Daggers, came to the world of Aurelia. Together in the Eon Altar, they forged all the gods and living creatures under the sun. For an age, Aurelia knew peace. But Zaquent, the shattered god, whispered in Daggers' ear and filled his soul with hatred. Daggers forged Aurelia's first blade and plunged into Mirth's heart. The god wars rage. Ooh! After centuries, Dagas was defeated at last. The gods imprisoned him in the Eon Altar, never to stand in the sun again. Well, I mean, you can just stand in the shadows, right? Chaos and corruption have seeped from the Eon Altar for millennia, and drawn by their master's rays, the servants of chaos drawn ever nearer. Who will stand in their way? Will you? I, I guess? Not sure. Marcus, guardsman of Grey. Marcus the Shield, the Steel Angel of the Battlefield. Resolute, unstoppable. Your men begged you to retreat, but you held the line, Marcus, no matter the cost. Oh, but what a cost it was, Marcus. For days you begged for death. Instead, you found purpose. I'm counting. Your redemption awaits in the Eon Altar, Marcus. Or perhaps there is only death. What will it be, Marcus? Do you want to find out? All right, we have to find out. Woo! Or nom. Okay. 
though. Um, I, I don't want to keep showing the phone so many times, but uh, this is what I see. And yeah. So up ahead lies Farnham Fortress. You asked your commander in gray to transfer you to the Brotherhood of Keepers, who look after this place. You are to report to Grand Keeper by Randus. Secret thoughts? Keep your character's secrets to yourself or share them with your team. The choice is yours. Well, um, uh, I'll tell you, okay? I'm, I'm gonna, um, I, I don't know. All right, I don't know. What happens now? I, I'm not sure what I was supposed to do. If there's one power that can bring your dear Eliana back from the dead, it waits deep below the fortress. Your transfer is just a pretext to come here. Oh. The gates leading up to Tarnum Fortress are closed and crowded by angry pilgrims. You have to find a way through. Move marker. Tap and drag your move marker to target a destination. Release and your character will run to marker. Run towards the chest. Tap to continue. This is weird. 3-1. You can also run freely. Hold outside the move marker to move like a joystick. Uh... This? Not sure what you mean by that. Oh, oh, if I hold outside the red circle, that. Okay. This is weird. Swords have taken Tarnum Fortress. The path of pilgrimage is closed until further notice. Armed bandits! To me, keepers! Guard the pilgrims! Oh god! Combat is tur team turn based. All players take their turn. Then enemies take their turns. Okay. I get power wound. Combat target enemies move with your marker tap on power to use it. Uh. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Uh, I think I did something wrong. What did I do? Alright, target that guy. And a stabby stab? Okay. You blocked that. Angry pilgrim? Yeah, sorry, I'm gonna slash you this time. Or, or I guess that. How did that guy defend all that? Why, why is he going towards me? I didn't do anything to him. Uh, all right wait wait no no get, get this thing yeah this is very this is a very interesting concept because you can play this with um with you know local co-op with your friends and you know that's sitting on the couch this isn't um for like a stream kind of game because you have to use the same wi-fi to play it so with that, you can't really like on, on my screen. I only see just a black screen, uh, like a joystick looking thing where like if you're playing like a mobile game on your phone, you know, get that little joystick on the side thing, except you're just right smack dab in the middle and then you got your health and everything like that. So it's kind of weird or different from a lot of games that, you know, you play. Pilgrims are safe again, thanks to you. I am Verandus, Grand Keeper of Tarnum. And who might you be? This man commands all the Keeper forces in the region. Answering his questions might help gain his trust. Gotcha. Yagdalag, you are your hero's voice. Speak these lines aloud to your friends to progress the story. Name's Marcus Devon, former Sergeant of Grey's 7th Legion at your service. You requested an assignment to the Brotherhood of the Keepers, but perhaps now is not the best time to report for duty. Hmm. Keep keep my assignment a secret? I don't know. Do I need to keep assignment a secret from everyone? There's no one here. Alright, let's report for duty. 
I've been assigned to your command, Grand Keeper. I suppose the orders were lost in the chaos of the last few days. The gods have chosen an interesting time to bring you to me, Sergeant. We sure need all the help we can get. I'm sorry if you came here expecting a cozy retirement. I can't even spare you a uniform. The Grand Keeper offers sensible advice, but you know what you're getting yourself into. Are your thoughts? Yes. I've never sh shied away from danger, Grand Keeper. If the gods want me to die here, then so be it. I know this isn't what you came here for, but perhaps we can come to an arrangement. My forces are scattered and can't retake the fortress alone. Lend assistance to the keepers and pilgrims you meet, and investigate who is behind this attack. Agree to this, and I'll open the gates for you. All right, Grand Keeper. Better agree to the deal and help Grand Keeper Virandis. It's the most direct way to reach the Eon Altar, if it even exists. Well, I'll help, Grand Master. Then it shall be done. I urge you to pray to your gods along the path of pilgrimage. They will bring you good luck on your journey. Mirth Spirit guide you. Thank you. So yeah, um, I I'm looking down at the phone because there's actually subtitles on the phone, and. And uh, I, I was looking through this, um, and there didn't seem to be a subtitle um, option, I think, unless I kind of overlooked that. Tap here to see your menu. Okay. Access your menu. Screen anytime outside of battle. It contains your quest, upgrades, skills, and... All right. Quests. Reach the Tarnum Fortress. Quests and gold are critical to finishing the level. Complete these quests and share the re rewards with the whole team. Well, there's not really a team here except a one-man team, which is me. Uh-huh. Alright, keep these quests yourself to make sure no one interferes with your goals. Seek out your god amongst the statues ahead to proceed. Okay. Okay, so you have the group objectives, which is, um, your own objectives, uh, right now. The group objectives supposed to be retake the fortress, uh, investigate fortress attack, and help keepers and pilgrims. And then you have your own personal objectives, which is your own quest. You can, I guess, um, not tell people about it, like, you know, the people around you, or I guess tell them. I'm not sure. Because you can, like, backstab each other, and I'm not sure what the point of that is, but I mean, in this type of game, I think you're supposed to help each other. I, I would help each other. And help the keepers retake the fortunes of Tarnum. Pray to Mirth, the god of destruction. Or creation. I was to say destruction. That's the opposite of what uh you know what the creation is. Alright. So um how do I go back? Oh abilities. Ooh, can I upgrade something? No, I have nothing to upgrade. Wait. Oh, that's already locked unlocked. But um I have all this stuff, it's so tough to oh how do I get my- I want to get my movements! How do I- I want- I want to get out! H how? Give me- give me back! No! That's- no I- Go back! There we go. Okay, whew. Okay, so if you can see that red marker, that means the noose? What? What noose? Anyways, you see that red marker, it's actually- I'm- I'm putting my thumb on the red and then uh, moving it like that. And if I'm just moving by itself, it's just I'm pressing outside of the red circle. Um. There we go. Mirth, our creator, your children bow to you. We remember your sacrifice and your brother's betrayal. Offering a sense prayer to Mirth would bring good fortune to you and your companions. Yes! O oh, creator, your humble servant implores your blessing on his mission. Please help me find the Yan Altar and reunite with my dearest Eliana again. Have you see my menu? Why? Oh, abilities. Happy to see your abilities. The quest to gain renown. Spend renown to purchase abilities. Gotcha! Ooh, find a power worth five renown and purchase it. Tap to continue. There we got the I got Phalanx, Soldier. Lancer, and that's about it. Hmm. The Lancer seems to be attack. Alright, let's go with the slashy slash. Oh, no, that's, that's ten. Ooh, five. Sweep attack. Unlock. Got it. Okay. 
Let's continue. Oh, give me that. Yeah! What's this? Dag is the god of darkness. You killed your brother Mirth and brought the god wars down on us all. We will never forget your crime. Okay. Who are you? I was. Our lady of the sword. Shield me and mine from the blades of the unjust. Oh, well, let's just go. Dun, dun. Oh, no. What happened here? You're appalled by the slaughter before you. What a tragic again for these pilgrims. Oh, what appalling slaughter. They left these poor pilgrims to rot in the sun. And all they wanted was to meet their gods. I guess they have now. That is kind of sad. Oh, what is that? Are you Evo? Hey, you. You're no keeper. And you sure don't look like a pilgrim. What the hell's you doing here? You wonder what compelled these bandits to slaughter. Gold is one thing, but this is butchery. Um, ask what they're doing here. Who are you? Who paid you to slaughter keepers and innocent pilgrims? Surely it wasn't your own bright idea. See that red mark? That means I'm on guild business. And speaking of business, it's time to hand over your armor. A piece of red cloth and you think you're all that? You bandits are all the same. Alright, combat powers. Powers have different ranges. Melee, ranged, tap and hold on a power to read the description. High level powers require energy. Farmer powers cost zero energy. They will give energy rewards when used. Okay. My slash. That's a huge slash. Hmm. Whoa, straight. The stab. Oh man, he defended it. Oh my gosh, our shield is awesome. What's this bun do? Wow, it's a shield bash. That was sick. Alright, attack that uh, doggy. Evaded? What? Oh no! Stabby stab! Victory! How did the guild manage to slip past the keeper forces of the noose? The keepers would never let them through. Alright, let's get all this stuff. Dun dun dun, remnants! Oh, oh, tack that, tack that! Yeah! Oh, get, get this thing! Athletics check failed, break lock. Okay. What the? Athletics check failed? Oh no! Ooh, a treasure chest! Get that! Yay! Athletics check succeeded! What did we get? Uh, no idea. Let, let's check the thing. Uh, upgrades? No. Gear? Um. Um. Uh. Okay. Heal 25% for as a free action. Bio of Copperweed. Interesting. Okay. Ah. Well, let's continue on ahead. Uh oh. What happened here? Talk to this. A dead keeper surrounded by the corpses of the pilgrims. You cannot make sense of the scene. Why is that dead keeper surrounded by the bodies of pilgrims? The keepers have sworn a sacred oath to protect the faithful. Something else is going on here. We need to find out what happened. Alright, give me this. Yay! Go, go, go. Oh, 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 give me that. Yeah! Oh no, let's check what happened here. What happened here? You notice a glimmer on one of the pilgrim's cuff. He's wearing armor underneath his robes. This pilgrim has chainmail under his robes. He didn't come here to pray. He came to fight. Okay, thank you. Enemy. Tag him. Hero turn. Yeah. Uh, swipe, swipe. Oh no! Oh, 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 he, he's trying to try and kill me? That's, uh, dude. He doesn't have any armor, so let's stab him. Ha! Oh no, there's a dog coming. Oh. Hmm. But you know what? Let's, uh, where's your slash? Hit all of them? Oh man, I'm gonna hit the other, hit the other enemy. 
Yeah, hit this. Uh, stabby stab. Oh no. Okay, stabby stab again. Yes, victory! Woo! So, this game is Eon Alter. And this is the first episode. They came out with the second episode. And, huh, this is a very interesting concept to play this game on your phone and have like a, like a couch co-op local multiplayer game with your friends. This is very interesting. And, wow. I, I kind of recommend this because this is uh, a lot of fun and you, you can betray your, um, your, en or your enemies or your friends, allies, friends, enemies, I don't know. <laughs> and you can just do that or just, you know, be really friendly and actually try and succeed throughout everything. So the link is down below in the description for you guys to check this game out yourself. So if you guys enjoyed this episode of Eon Ultra, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!